As you may be able to see from the stacks surrounding me, I'm here to an unboxing haul. It was my birthday yesterday and I have quite a good selection of packages to open with you today. I have tried to organize them as best as I can. So this stack here is books I have either bought myself or that my boyfriend or family have bought me. And then this stack here is books that you guys have sent me. And then I have a stack of books on the floor as well that are unwrapped, that are just general books that I have picked up in the last few months or that people have sent me, things like that. So I think I have about 40 books here, if not more. So I'm gonna crack on and open all of these. I think I'm gonna start with the ones that you got me and then I'm gonna go on to the ones that I bought myself and that my boyfriend bought me and then the stack on the floor of ones that are already unboxed. I also wanna say a massive thank you to everyone that sent me something. I was in absolute shock when things started coming through my door. I feel like I got a few packages and then a few more and then a few more and they just kept piling up and I am in absolute shock. Thank you so much if you sent me anything. Obviously I will thank you by name once I actually open them but I am so grateful for all of you guys and I am so excited to open them all. So I'm gonna start with this pile as I said and we will see what there is. Let's start with this one. I think that the pull tabs on these packages have been awful recently. So let's see if they're any good today. Gorgeous, we have a success off the bat. <gasps> oh my God, I literally added this to my wish list like five days ago, I think. We have Assistant to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayra. And this one is from Victoria. Thank you so much, Victoria. I was so excited for this book. I have seen amazing things about this. I believe it's some sort of like romance, but situated around being an assistant to a villain. And that's about all I know. I've just heard amazing things. I think it's meant to be relatively funny as well. I could be making that up, but I feel like most people call it kind of like, not a rom-com, but like that kind of vibe. I don't know what time it's set in, but it's like an old school kind of vibe. And I am so excited for this book. I have heard amazing things, like I said, and it just seems like something that'll be really fun and really quick and really gorgeous. So thank you so much, Victoria. I was so excited for this one. This is one of the first packages I received and I'm really intrigued because it's shaped <laughs> very strangely. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually like gift wrapped. That'll be why. <laughs> oh my god, it's from Anna. I feel like I've mentioned Anna so many times. I adore her with my whole soul. Anna, I love you. You are so, so generous. She has sent me so many books in the past and she is just so sweet and I love her so much. And she's been here since like day one. I feel like she was here back in like June last year when I first started. <gasps> we have Inner Jam by Kate Canterbury. I have been looking at this book for probably like six months now, six months. I don't know what this is about. I know that it's like a single dad and I think runaway bride situation, which is very much my thing. And I just think that this cover is absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to get it so that the glare isn't on it. But this is literally stunning. And I feel like I've seen people really liking this and I've seen it on pretty much everybody shelf so I wanted in <laughs> so thank you so much Anna for this I'm so excited I love me a good like small town runaway bride single dad oh my god wait one year to get married or lose the family farm oh so it's also a marriage of convenience very much count me in this sounds gorgeous thank you so much Anna I'm so excited for this this one is dinky this is so cute <gasps> We have the cheat sheet. This is from Marie Claire. How gorgeous, as I just added practice makes perfect for my TBL because if you only thought this would be right, love your videos. Thank you so much, Marie Claire. I literally just watched one of her videos. I'll link it below. She ended up doing a video where she was like trying out different TBR techniques and one of them was going through, I think she went through Goodreads or something and she saw that I had rated practice makes perfect five stars. So she ended up adding it to her TBR and therefore she got me this. I was so excited for this. I recently read Practice Makes Perfect and When in Rome, both by Sarah Adams as well. And I ended up really, really loving them. Practice Makes Perfect specifically, I ended up giving that one five stars and so I'm so intrigued because I feel like this is her like OG popular book. Like this is the book talk book. I feel like everyone was talking about this. And I was so excited. All that I know about this is that it's this woman and this man and it's kind of like they both like each other but neither of them knows it. They're like a childhood friends or like at least a college like friends situation and they're both very much into each other but neither of them knows it. I think she is a ballet teacher and he is in the NFL, something like that. And it's like a friends to lovers situation, which is very much my thing. So I'm so excited for this one. Thank you so much, Mary Claire. I'll be reading this probably literally today. Hint here now, I'm planning on doing a 24 hour readathon with the rest of my day and I was looking for books very similar to this. So this will probably be added to my TBR literally this evening. Oh my God, this is a chunky one. <gasps> oh, this is from Regan. I love Regan. I've mentioned Regan before and I will be mentioning her again because I do have another gift that she sent me before. But this is from Regan. Happy early birthday, gorgeous. Hope you have a beautiful day. All my love from Regan. She is so sweet. I love her so much. She's probably one of my like best friends that I've made through this channel. And she got me things I wanted to say but never did by Monica Murphy. She literally sent me a message the other day and was like, oh my God, I didn't realize that you weren't such a fan of A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime before I sent this. Because I recently read A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime for like reading my wrapped up books vlog. And it was like a 2.5. It wasn't that it wasn't the worst thing ever, but I'm still very excited for this book because I very much want to read the rest of the series because I think that the writing wasn't that bad. I really didn't. And I'm very intrigued because everyone seems to love this series. And I'm going to tell you straight up, the spice in this series is pretty good. So I'm quite excited for this one. Anyway, thank you so much, Regan. I love you so much. You know this. Thank you. 
feel like I never usually have nails this long and I'm struggling to get into these packages. I then have the Atlas Paradox and this is from Kate. She said, happy birthday Ellen, I adore you and I adore your videos. You are such a kind person and deserve the world. Hope you have a great day. Thank you so much, Kate. I am so excited about this because I recently did a video where I was like, I really want the paperback version of this book. I did have the hardback for the longest time and it was irking me and I didn't like how it looked on my shelves because yes, I am that person. And so I have the first book in paperback and I desperately wanted the second one in paperback as well. And here I am. This is giving me even more reason to actually, oh my God, it's got illustrations as well. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. It has like gorgeous illustrations between some of the chapters. Let me just see if I can show you one. Look, like that, that's stunning. Anyway, <laughs> I have the first book and I've been wanting to get to it for a really long time. I wanted to read it for like a TikTok famous kind of video because I feel like that was another one of the OG BookTok books. And now I have the sequel, which makes me more likely to pick it up. So thank you so much, Kate. I'm so excited for this one. Literally, can you see how much I'm struggling to even get the pull tab? <laughs> because of my nails. I'm like trying my best to not look at them until I look at the, the gift note as well, but it's really difficult. Look, I've not looked at the front of that one. I don't know what it is. This one is from Charlotte and it says, have a fabulous birthday. <gasps> and we have birthday girl by Penelope Douglas. That's very fitting. That is very fitting because obviously it's a birthday book haul. I have read this book before. I'm gonna be straight up. I loved it. I really did. I know it's not a fan favorite, <laughs> but I adored this book so much. And I just really wanted a physical copy of it. And I have been wanting a physical copy ever since I first picked it up, like probably going on two years ago now. And this is a gorgeous edition. It has like little flaps and everything, which is stunning. So I'm very excited to own this. Thank you so much, Charlotte. I am so excited to finally have my hands on an actual copy of this. So thank you so much. We are slowly making our way through this huge pile behind me. It is rush hour currently. It's 8 a.m. as I am filming this and I live on a main road and I have had to pause at least 50 times in between each of these to let all the cars go past and it's driving me mad. It has already been 17 minutes of filming and I'm sure as you're seeing this, we're probably only five minutes in because I've had to cut out all of the cars <laughs> driving past me, but we're gonna move on. <gasps> oh my God, this one is chunky as well. Again, I'm, I'm really trying not to look at it. I've had like a glance, but I'm really trying not to look what it is before I actually read the note. So this one is from Kaylee. It says, happy birthday. Hope you have a lovely day. You're quickly becoming my favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much, Kaylee. This makes me so happy. Oh my God, I've seen what it is. We have Underlock by Marinus Potter. I have been like slowly, well, I say slowly, over the last like, like month I would say I've got like six more Marinus Potter books and I'm loving my life I literally just read The Wall of Winnipeg Me loved it gorgeous stunning and I think I've rated all of her books four stars or above so I'm so excited to get to this one literally just by looking at the cover I think this is like a motorbike situation oh obviously it's grumpy sunshine and obviously it's like a motorbike romance I'm so excited for this oh tattoo shop does she work at a tattoo shop that's very exciting to me I'm so excited for this I love Marinus Spada. she is the queen of slow burn and I love me a good slow burn in between all of my like steamy romances that I love to read so i'm so excited for this thank you so much this one is from Maisie May. I adore Maisie so much. She is so sweet. She has her own YouTube channel. I will link it down below. I adore her. She's great. And she has written, happy birthday, Ellen. Have a lovely day. I hope your husband, Mr. Lando Norris, spoils you. But just in case, if he doesn't, here is a book to make you feel better. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> we have bonded so much over our love for F1. And I adore her so much. She is wonderful. Oh my God. We have Betting on You by Lynn Painter. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this. And I've been literally so desperate to get to it because everyone loves it. And I don't want to have the FOMO anymore. <laughs> so you made a really Really good choice Maze May because I will be reading this instantly. Again, this is probably one that I'm gonna add to my TBR for the day for my 24 hour readathon. <laughs> But I'm so excited for this. I don't really know what it's about other than I think it's a YA kind of friends to lovers situation. And I think they meet and re-meet over the span of years or something like that. And I think it's like a friends to lovers situation. I could be entirely wrong, but everyone that has read this has adored it. And so therefore I want to read it instantly. And I think I'm going to adore it as well. Previously read another book by Lynn Painter and I absolutely adored it. So I think I'm going to love this. Thank you so much, Maisie. I am literally going to read this today. So I'll let you know what I think. This next one here is from Melissa and it says, this is my second favorite Abby Jimenez book. I hope you love it as much as I did. Happy birthday, Ellen, you're my favorite YouTuber. All the way from Mississippi, damn, it always, shocks me where people are in the world when they subscribe to me. Obviously, I'm a UK girly, if you couldn't tell by my accent. I feel like majority of you guys are not UK girlies and therefore it always interests me when I hear where you're from. So if you want to, feel free to let me know where you're watching from in the comments because sometimes you guys let me know and it boggles my little brain. Anyway, I'm gonna assume this is an Abby Jimenez book. We have Life's Too Short by Abby Jimenez. I feel like I'm gonna annoy all of you guys because yet again, not a clue what this is about, babe. I love Abby Jimenez though. I have loved every single book that I have read by this woman. I think she's phenomenal and therefore I'm very excited to read this. Okay, gorgeous. So her half sister ends up leaving her like child to her. So she ends up having custody of her, I guess, niece and it changes her life. She has to end up looking after this baby. And then the last person she expects to help her is her hot lawyer next door. So it's like a next door romance. She's looking after this baby. He's helping her out. 
this sounds stunning. This sounds stunning. I was so excited. And like I said, I have loved every single book that Abby Jimenez has ever put out. And therefore I want to read all of her backlist. I think I now have all of them or maybe I'm missing one, but I can't, I can't remember, but I think I have majority of her books now and I've read like 99% of them. So very excited for this one. This could be another contender for a book that I will read today in my 24 hour readathon. We will see. But thank you so, so much, Melissa. I'm so excited for this book. Oh my God, this one has two in it. This one has two. I'm gonna try not to look again. This one is from Jana or Jana. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. She said, I read Still Beating last year and it made me feel very conflicted. Definitely a dark romance. This book is definitely the definition of trauma bonding. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hopefully I didn't scare you. You are in luck because I have already read Still Beating and I loved it. So <laughs> in here we have Still Beating and we also have Lotus, both by Jennifer Hartman. I have, like I said, already read Still Beating, but I haven't read Lotus and I really want to. And I love these covers. I do have another copy of Still Beating. I have like the original one, like the proper indie published one with like the hands holding and the chain. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Read that book probably like two years ago now. And I did really like it. It is traumatizing. Like it is definitely a dark romance. So I would check trigger warnings before you read it, but I loved it. I thought it was gorgeous. So I'm very, very excited to get to Lotus as well. I don't know if it's like a interconnected standalones kind of vibe. I think it is following different people, but within the same like world and friendship group perhaps, but I'm so excited. And these covers are literally the most gorgeous thing. I was so excited when I saw these because I do like my other copy that I have is still beating, but I don't think that that cover is very cute. And it's like a super tall paperback. It's just not cute, but this one and this one stunning. So thank you so much, Jana. I am so excited to get to Lotus and I obviously very much loved Still Beating, so I'm glad that you loved it too. Thank you so much. This is officially our last package that I have from you guys. Also, if you're concerned that I'm flashing this, I have literally colored out my address. So none of these should actually have my address on the show. So don't worry. This one is so heavy as well. I feel like I saved the heaviest one for last. That's because it has two books in it. <laughs> this is from Megan. It says, happy birthday, girly. I hope you have the best day. I had to get you some more in this series. I read the first two and loved them. Can't wait to see your thoughts as you continue. And she also has a second one that says, thank you for all the wonderful content you put out. It really feels like I'm hanging out with a friend when I watched your videos. I don't have many people to talk about books with me, so I appreciate you. See, things like this make me so emotional. I love you guys so much. This is literally exactly why I wanted to make this channel because I also don't have anyone to talk about books with. In my real life, I don't. So I love talking about them in videos and therefore also talking about them on places like Instagram. With you guys, like I have so many friends that I've made through this and we can just talk about books. So it just makes me so happy. And I love you so much, Megan. Thank you so much in advance. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. This is so exciting. I mentioned this before and I will mention the first book later on in this video because I literally hauled it like a few weeks ago. But this is part of the, is it, what's the series called? Is it the Darkverse series? Yeah, Darkverse series. So I have The Reaper and The Emperor, both by Runix. I have already read The Predator, which is the first book and I loved it so much. And I believe that this one follows the same couple as the first book does. And then I think in this one, we move on to a different couple. I think they're almost like two little duets. And I'm so excited for these. These are also gorgeous. I love these covers so much. And like I said, I very much adored the first book and I very much want to do another Reading Dark Romance for a week vlog. So these are contenders for that video. Thank you so much, Megan. These are stunning. These are literally stunning. And I'm so excited for these. I have a soft spot in my soul for like kind of the indie published looking books. And this is very much them. So thank you so much, Megan. I was so excited to get these books. I will be reading them in a dark romance video. So keep your eyes peeled for that because I will hopefully be doing it sooner rather than later. Right, I've stacked up all the books that you guys have sent me behind me now because I've cleared some space. I am now gonna move on to the books that I bought myself and that my boyfriend bought me. I don't know which box is which. Like I don't know which one is gonna be the ones from my boyfriend or the ones from me. Obviously I know what I bought myself. So I will know which ones are which once I've opened them but it'll be a surprise. So I'm gonna go with this first one here. I think I know what this one is because it's just a little tiny paperback by itself. And I did pre-order a little tiny paperback. So <laughs> I think I do know what one this one is. I am correct. This is one I bought myself. I pre-ordered it. We have Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage. I read Done and Dusted probably like six months ago now. Adored it. I think it's gorgeous. It's like a little yeehaw cowboy romance and I'm very much here for it. And this is the like, I call it a sequel. It's not like a proper sequel. It's like another interconnected standalone, but it is the second book in the series. I think that this one is following the brother maybe of the man in the first book. I don't know. There is some sort of link, but I think that he ends up having this woman come to the ranch to kind of like redo one of the guest houses or something. And she is previously divorced. And I think feeling a little bit down on like the whole love and relationship situation. And they end up meeting and working on this house together. And I think 
think there's obviously a romance between the two and so I'm very excited these books are gorgeous the writing is stunning they are really really cute little cowboy romances and they are so short which makes me so happy because they're so nice and easy to read like this is under 300 pages I love it stunning I will be reading this today I already knew that before I opened it because I knew that I'd ordered it I'll be reading this today in my 24 hour readathon so keep your eyes peeled for that so excited love these books and these covers are also gorgeous so I can't complain this is where it starts to get interesting because I don't know whether these are books that my boyfriend bought me or that I bought myself so we shall see okay I can see the first book in this and it's not a book I ordered myself so this is a package from my boyfriend so I don't know what's in this and I'm excited because I have seen the first book and I'm very excited about it we have The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. There was something about like Bride, Bride by Ali Hazelwood that came out like two weeks ago that I feel like has ignited this need for paranormal romance in me. This one is about, I think, a werewolf by the looks of things. I think that she is maybe a doctor and he is a werewolf. And he's also a doctor, I think. Maybe she's, maybe they're both doctors and they work together, but he is some sort of werewolf situation. Babe, I don't know. I don't know, but I heard it was Loki paranormal romance and I think that he is a werewolf of some description. <laughs> so therefore I'm there. I never thought I would say that, but therefore I am there. <laughs> so he made a very good choice in this one. He messaged me and said that he did actually look at all of the synopses. Like he had access to my wish list and just went through and read all the synopses and chose stuff that he thought I would like. So very good choice. This one is stunning. I was so excited for this. And I have read Lana Ferguson before and I did really like it. I read The Nanny. I think it was really good. It was a bit too long for me, but I did really enjoy it. And this one is only 350 pages. So I think she has done a bit of a better job here of keeping it not quite so long. So very, very excited to get to this one. We have two more in the bottom here. Oh my God, I can already see the back of this one. We have Indigo Ridge by Daphne Perry. Again, another very good choice. I haven't read any books in the series. This is book number one. What's it called? The Edens of the Eden series. And this series, I think is like kind of, speculative like almost mystery but also romance so that very much intrigues me because it's not just romance there's like some sort of speculative something going on that they have to figure out but also a romance at the same time so from quickly glancing at the back i can see that our main female character ends up having a woman like killed on her property and then the new chief of police i think is the guy that she's going to have this romance with he comes to figure it out and i think the edens themselves are like this sounding family or something of this town either way very excited for this i always find it interesting when it's romance with like a sprinkling of something else so the fact that there's like a loki murder mystery in this as well is very interesting so this one is stunning i've been wanting to read this series for literally the longest time so i'm so glad that i now own it the next one i have here is killer instinct by jennifer lynn barnes he's done like a good selection here so this is the second book in the natural series i have read the naturals the first book and loved it it was really really fun it's like a everyone always says it's criminal minds but why in a book i've never watched criminal minds i don't know what it is or what it's about <laughs> i think it's like a us thing but they are basically like a group of kids that have i guess special skills when it comes to solving crime so there's like a group of like five of them or something and each one of them has a different skill that lends itself to solving these crimes and i think she's a profiler but then everyone else has like a different skill and they all come together in order to solve these cold cases and i loved the first book and i'm so excited for this one he did say that he got me one that was part of a series he was hoping that i'd read the first one and i very much have and i really liked it so i'm really excited for this book on to the next one this one is also like completely chocker with books so uh this is this is the selection that i bought myself these are ones i bought myself because i very much recognize the top book i have do your worst by rosie denan i loved the roommate by Rosie Denan. That is one of my favorite books to ever exist. I adore that book so much. And when I saw that she had come out with another book, I was like, yeah, obviously I'm going to pick that up. And it's like a witchy vibe. <laughs> so I'm so excited for this. So from what I understand, I think she ends up going to this like abandoned Scottish castle or something. And she's going to do her magic to like break a curse on it. And then some grumpy dude shows up and tries to get her fired because he doesn't want her there. I'm assuming he either owns said castle or for some reason he lives there or something like that. And then they have a romance from there, but it's like a witchy thing. And it's also Scottish, which most of my family are Scottish. Scottish if you don't know all of my dad's side of Scottish I'm half Scottish so I love Scotland very much and I go there a lot so I'm very excited to read a book finally that's set in Scotland I don't think I've read any books set in Scotland so I'm really excited for this I'm kind of going into it blind but I saw Rosie Denan and I saw witchy vibes and I said that's going in my basket I'm buying that so here we are I then have the last word by Taylor Adams I have heard nothing but amazing things about this and I do like reading thrillers I feel like most thrillers don't get above like a 3.5 for me so I don't tend to pick them up all that often but I do love a quick fun thriller every so often everyone has said that this is amazing this is following our main character who ends up reading a book and giving it i think like a one star review and writing like a really really bad review about it and then she ends up getting stalked i think by the author that wrote said book or at least that's what we're led to believe i think she's in some sort of secluded location and i think she just starts noticing that weird things are happening in her house she's it says scratched in the night and a figure crawling around in the shadows and it says it becomes connected so i think that it is either this author that has like a vendetta against her for leaving this bad review or something like that 
so excited for this. I just think that that premise sounds so cool. And I have read a Taylor Adams book before. What's it called? No Exit. I have read No Exit before and I really liked that and I also really liked the movie. So very excited to get to this. I just think it sounds like a really cool premise. Next up, I have Coach by Devonie Perry. I feel like I have a very big mixture now. <laughs> now that we're getting into these ones, I feel like that's quite a mixture, like going from this to this. Um, I don't know anything about this other than I'm assuming it's a coach romance. I have read, I think, one or two books by Devonie Perry before, but I think I've read them under her pseudonym Willa Nash because they're the same person as far as i know they're the same person i think that this is like a single dad he's a footballer maybe yeah so i think he's like an ex-footballer single dad that gets hired as a coach for i think a team that she works within or something and then obviously there's a romance between them for some reason i love me a single dad romance also sports romances and also coach romances so this is ticking a lot of boxes for me i am very excited for this and it's relatively short i for some reason was expecting this to be super long but it's only 350 pages so I will be there. I'm very excited for this. And then I finally have Heavy Crown by Sophie Lark. I think, I think this is the last book in the Brutal Birthright series that I now own because I have Brutal Prince, Stolen Air, Savage Love, A Bloody Heart and Broken Vow. I already own all of those, but they've all been coming out in these new covers, at least in the UK. This one only just came out. So I picked it up and I think I now have every book. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the last book in the Brutal Birthright series. I have read the first two books in this series. It's not my favorite series ever, but they are really fun, quick reads. I give them all like a three or 3.5, so I do enjoy them. They're just not the best thing I've ever read, but I just, I, I love them for like a quick, easy, fun read. Like I just suspend my disbelief and have fun with it. I'm very excited for this. And I now finally have the whole series, hopefully. We are onto our last two boxes and then I will go through the books that I already have opened. This one is also so heavy. <gasps> Oh my god. This must be for my boyfriend because I did not order these. But the top one I have here is Six Scorched Roses by Carissa Broadbent. This is the novella that I believe is meant to come in between. The Ashes and the Star Cursed King and what is the name of the other one? Something about Twisted Night or something. Either way. <laughs> This is meant to come in between those two books and I have read both of those books already. So it's probably a bit late for me to be reading this, but one of my gorgeous friends, Lisa, ended up reading this recently and said that she really enjoyed it. So I am very intrigued. I think it's not following the same characters. I think it tells the story of Lilith and someone else maybe that kind of comes into play. In my brain, it's almost like the folklore that comes behind the story, like it's talked about in the other books. So I want to read this because she said it was really sweet. And so I'm very excited for it. And I feel like I should probably read this and then maybe reread. <laughs> reread the next book so that I properly understand what these people have to do with the next book. But this is also stunning. This is gorgeous. So he made a very good choice for this. He did say that he did a good selection and he did because we've had fantasy romance. I don't know what genre Killer Instinct is, like thrillery kind of murder mystery vibe. So he's got a good selection going here. The next one I have is Faking with Benefits by Lily Gold. This is lucky because I think I ordered the rest of the series. I think the rest of the series is in this box. So I think I now have all of them. But all of these books, at least all of the ones that Lily Gold has written, these four books are all like reverse harem romance romances so I think it's one woman and three men <laughs> so if that's not your thing then maybe don't pick this up but I have been very intrigued ever since I heard that and this one I think is like a fake dating or kind of like teaching to date situation with our main woman and then three men <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really excited for this and I do like I said have the rest of the series in here so I will get to that when I open this box but wonderful choice. These next two books kind of don't surprise me now that I've seen them. If you don't know, I do love F1 very much. And the reason that I love F1 is because my boyfriend loves F1 and he's the reason that I ended up getting into it. And so I have the last two books that I didn't already own in the Dirty Air series. I already have Throttled and Collided. I did not like Throttled, but I loved Collided. And I've heard, I think it's redeemed that everyone loves. Like I think this is the one that everyone absolutely adores. So I'm very excited to get to this one. Again, I'm not surprised that he got these because they're F1 romances. He probably read the synopses and was like, yep. <laughs> So I'm really excited for these. Like I said, didn't love the first one, but very much love the second one. So I'm excited for these ones. And again, I think this one is the one I'm most excited for because everyone loves it. We're now onto our final box. Not our final books, but our final box. <laughs> the first one that I can see on here is How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. I love horror books. I love horror books. If you have any horror recommendations, then let me know because I feel like uh, good horror books are few and far between, but I'm so excited for this one. I don't know what it's about. Are we surprised? I don't know what it's about. I just know that it is about selling a haunted house. I think they go back to sell this house I think it was their mum's house or something. And I've heard it's got puppets, which is terrifying. Um, so I'm really excited to get to this. I have read Grady Hendrix before and really enjoyed his other books. So I've been wanting to get my hands on this for a while. And I think the paperback only came out relatively recently, which is why I've only just picked it up. But we'll be reading this very soon, hopefully. I then have A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner now. I've been wanting this book for ages. 
but I don't love this cover. They came out with, I think it was, it was like an anniversary edition, like a 10, maybe a 10 year anniversary edition, which is gorgeous, but it's like 30 pounds in the UK to get your hands on that. And this was like a quarter of that price. So I just got the original cover. I just caved and got the original cover because everyone loves this book. Everyone loves this book. I don't know what it's about. I think it is some sort of maybe addiction story could be wrong but I think that's what I've read but everyone loves this book and I have just been intrigued for the longest time and I finally bit the bullet and I got it so very intrigued to read this one I then have Darling Venom by Parker S Huntington this one has been kicking about for the longest time oh my god this has like illustrations as well on the first page of every chapter not a clue babe not a single clue what this is about for some reason I think it's a dark romance but I could be very wrong so correct me if I'm wrong but I feel like this is another one of those book talk books that everyone seems to love therefore I'm very intrigued so I can't wait to get to this one if you have read this and enjoyed it please let me know or if you know anything about what it's about also let me know um if it's a dark romance also let me know <laughs> and if it's not also let me know i'm um, very excited for this i think this cover is gorgeous and everyone that i've seen read this has loved it so okay here we go i told you that i had the rest of that lily gold series as well so i have nanny for the neighbors three swedish mountain men and triple duty bodyguards i think this is the most popular one or at least the most like talked about one this is the one i think i originally saw on tiktok this one i think is the one that intrigues me the most and then also this one i don't know what any of these are about other than what they say on the cover so i believe this is like a nanny situation i think she moves in next door and she ends up having to nanny for them. I think one of them is a single dad or maybe all of them are single dads, something like that. And she ends up helping them. And then three Swedish mountain men, not a clue babe, other than it's three Swedish mountain men. That's about all I know. <laughs> and then Triple Duty Bodyguard. I think they are all her bodyguard of some description. And obviously it's a romance between all of them. <laughs> so I'm excited for these. And then the last two books that I have in this little pack from myself, I have Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. When I bought these books, I basically just let myself get books that were either relatively expensive or that I've been putting off for a while. So this book I've been wanting to read for years, but it's always been expensive because it's an indie published, like big, big paperback. And I was just like, let's just do it. I tend to lean towards the cheaper books because I want to get more books for my money. But this time around I was like just get the expensive books babe so I got the expensive book I am so excited for this this is like a pirate romance I believe it is sapphic as well if you have any other sapphic romance recommendations then please let me know I always love reading sapphic romances and I feel like they're kind of few and far between at least good ones I think so if you have any recommendations of sapphic romances that you love please let me know I'm so excited for this it's pirates it's sapphic I think it's like the captain pirate of some description and then their captor so we will see but I'm very excited for this and I think Pam Godwin has written a lot of like contemporary romance as well like contemporary as in not like fantasy pirate romances and I think everyone loves them so I am intrigued and then the final book that I have in this little stack is Fangirl Down by Tessa Bailey I am very intrigued by this book because this book got rinsed on Twitter at least for me I don't have TikTok anymore but at least on Twitter this book got rinsed because it came out with one of those like graphics that was saying all of the tropes for it and it said touch her and you die <laughs> and everyone was like he's a golfer babe he's not gonna kill anyone for touching her <laughs> so I'm just intrigued I'm intrigued and I do have have a track history of really really liking Tess Bailey although I haven't enjoyed some of her more recent books so we will see how I feel but I don't know what this is about other than that he's a golfer and apparently if you touch her he will kill you so <laughs> I'm intrigued. So that is it for all of the books that I bought myself and that were gifted, other than one on the top here. But this stack that I have now are all books that I have previously bought that I'm just gonna quickly run through with you, other than this top one, which is a gift from my gorgeous friend, Casey. She has a Etsy shop where she does blind dates with a book. And she previously sent me a blind date with a book and her like packaging and everything is absolutely stunning. So if you are interested in getting a blind date with a book, I would highly, highly recommend her Etsy. I will link it down below. But she sent me this just completely out of the blue. And so I'm so excited. It's like gorgeously wrapped and it says birthday wishes on the little sticker which is so cute i have not a clue what this is <gasps> shut up <laughs> the first thing that fell out is a little friendship bracelet and it says ellen on it i don't even know how well you can see that <gasps> shut up i feel like i've been to a taylor swift show where they all share their friendship bracelets this is so cute this is so cute oh my god i'm gonna wear this forever i've never had a friendship bracelet in my life i'm gonna wear this forever thank you so much casey as i said her packaging is absolutely gorgeous like look she always wraps her books like this with the little like stamp and everything and then she includes bookmarks and stickers and little tabs oh my god I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so excited. We have these two bookmarks here that are giving very much fantasy vibes to me, which are stunning. And then we also have a little pack of stickers and of tabs. I ended up using the tabs that she got me last time for the book I'm about to show you. And they came in such handy. So I am very excited to have some more. So we have some gorgeous like pink, purple and blue tabs. And then a load of really gorgeous stickers. These are all like little floral. Oh my God, look, this one. Always reading. That is me. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Gorgeous, Taylor Swift. <gasps> Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. We have some folklore stickers. I actually have folklore stickers. I say this all the time, I am a Swifty and my favorite Taylor Swift album is Folklore. Yeah, obviously. We have, long story short, I survived. We then have the track list of folklore, but like with the back of her head. And then we have a folklore cardigan. <laughs> Shut up. Casey, you are wonderful. I love you so much. Again, I'm gonna link her shop down below because all of her books come so gorgeously packaged like this with little stickers and everything. And last time she sent me one, she sent me Harry Styles stickers. So I now have Harry Styles stickers as well as Taylor Swift stickers. So I can't complain. I really can't. It's now time to open the book. I don't, I have no clue. She just sent this like out of the blue for my birthday. So I have not a clue what this book is. And I'm so intrigued. We have these hollow vows by Lexi Ryan. Oh my God. Oh my God. This was literally on my wish list. I have been wanting to read this for the the longest time this is like a fantasy romance vibe i don't know if it is ya i don't think it is because the first word i can see on here is sexy <laughs> so i'm hoping it's not ya my very vague understanding of this is that she ends up making a deal with like the fae i think her sister gets like stolen away and in order to get her sister back i think she has to steal some things and like provide them to them in return for her sister something like that and then also there's some sort of romance i am seeing two men on this so i don't know if it's like a love triangle situation but i'm so excited for this this is Perfect, perfect. And now I see why we've got like the fantasy themed bookmarks to go along with this. Thank you so much, Casey. Again, I will link her shop down below. She is gorgeous, amazing, the most lovely, lovely person ever. And her Etsy shop is literally perfect. Like her blind dates with a book come like that. Stunning. Thank you so much, Casey. Again, I am so excited for that book. I'm gonna do a really, really, really quick fire through these next few books because my battery is gonna die and I've been talking for over an hour now. So the next book I have here is The Only One Left by Riley Sager. This was a gift from my boyfriend's mom and I'm really excited for this one. It's like a thriller, I think about a woman who used to be an author and she decides to break her silence and write a new book, I think. And I think our main character has to go to her like abandoned house and help write a book for her because she can't type anymore. So I think she has to type for her and this person ends up telling her all of like her darkest secrets. So that sounds very intriguing for me. I'm very excited for this. I then have Bride by Ellie Hazelwood. I have already read this, spoiler alert, I gave it five stars, stunning, gorgeous. This is a paranormal romance between our main character who is a vampire and then this other guy who is a werewolf. <laughs> um, and they end up having this like marriage of convenience in order to, I guess, create this like ally between the two groups of people because they don't get along. The vampires and the werewolves do not like each other. So it's kind of their way of forcing them to like each other. Um, and then there's a romance between them. I loved this, stunning. I then have The Neighbor Favor by Christina Forrest. This was a gift from Anna because Anna loves to give me books. And I am really excited for this. This is a romance between a woman who, I think she ends up moving in next door to her favorite author or something. And then there's a romance between them. I think he's like a fantasy author. And I think they had a previous like talking stage and he ends up ghosting her and then she realizes that he is literally her next door neighbor and also her favorite author. I said this book would come up. I have The Predator by Runix. This is the first book in the Darkverse series, obviously that comes before these two books here. This was gifted to me by the gorgeous Megan. Thank you so much, Megan, again. I loved this book. I have already read this. I just really wanted a physical copy of it and I loved this so much and I'm very excited to get these two other books as well. I then have Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. It still feels surreal to be holding this in my hands because the struggle that it was to get a copy of this. My gorgeous friend Regan ended up sending this to me because I couldn't get my hands on it. I tried, it wasn't on Amazon. I couldn't find it in any shops near me because it's being republished. This is the indie published version and it's being republished and therefore it was nowhere to be found. And she ended up finding it in a bookshop and sending it over to me. So I will be reading this very soon. Keep your eyes peeled. I ended up getting it in a specific video that is coming soon. So I will be reading this for a video. So excited, it's dragons, it's fantasy. I think there's a romance stunning. And then the last book that I have for this haul, we have A House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J Maas. I have already read this, as you can probably tell by the tab. I ended up reading it in a video. I will link it up here somewhere for you. I liked it, but I didn't love it. I will leave it at that because I am a Sarah J Maas girly. So I was surprised that I didn't adore this book, but I did finally get my hands on this after having it pre-ordered for like two years. So I am very excited to own a copy of this. I'm going to quickly count how many books we have here because I think it's something like 40. Just by looking at this, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Guess what, babes? Exactly 40. We have exactly 40 books here. Thank you so much again if you sent me anything. If you left like an Instagram or anything on your note, I will reach out to you. But if you didn't, this is me saying thank you so much. I'm so, so grateful. Always so grateful for you guys. I feel like literally like two minutes ago, I was saying thank you for 10K and I'm now saying thank you for 14K. There are 14K of you. Um, in disbelief. I love you all so much. This has made my birthday so gorgeous. I had the best day yesterday and this has just made it even better. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have read and enjoyed any of these books, please let me know. Thank you again to everyone who sent me something. I still can't believe it, but thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will see you whenever I next see you. Bye.